Okay, so this is the second short video um, which is helping us to understand the process of analyzing poetry. Um, so let's take a look. Here's a short poem that I've created called The Student's Lament. So whenever you're analyzing a poem, the very first thing you should do is read the poem out loud to yourself. Poetry is meant to be heard out loud. Um, that way we can start to feel some of the elements and devices uh, when we hear rhyming words, when we hear words that start with the same sounds, we know we're on the right path. So here we go, the students lament. We grind our brains to learn and grow. It's not so easy, don't you know? We listen, write, and think all day. It's turning tips of hair taut gray. Teacher, please listen well, we pray. Our brains are rabbits, flash, and show. So, number one, we can ask ourselves, what do we notice about the structure? So again, here, if we're looking at structure, we're looking at stanzas, lines. So this poem is a single stanza. It's one group of lines. Um, it's got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six lines. Um, good. So that's kind of our step one. Step two, what do we notice about the line count? And is there a rhyme, rhyme scheme? So we already established that there are six lines here, and then we'd be looking at the rhyme scheme, we'd be looking at the last word of each line. So we've got grow, know, day, gray, pray, show. So remember, we're going to assign alphabet letters to words that rhyme with each other. So grow and know, they rhyme. They end in the same sound, so that would be A, A. Then we've got day, gray, pray. Okay, all three of those rhyme with each other, so it would be A, A. B, 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 and then finally show. So show is also rhyming with no and grow. So we'd have a six line rhyme scheme of A, A, B, 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 A. Good. And then we've also got to uh, look at the count, the, the beat count within each line. So we're looking again at the count of the syllables. So we grind our brains to learn and grow. I'm counting on my fingers as I go through that. That's a count of eight. It's not so easy, don't you know? Eight again. We listen, write, and think all day. Eight. Eight syllables. It's turning tips of hair taut gray. Eight syllables again. Teacher, please listen well, we pray. Eight. So we can see, yes, there's a, there's a pattern going on here. The author or the poet has taken time to make sure that these lines um, follow eight syllabic counts per line or eight uh, beats per line. Um, and so we can, uh, we can anticipate that the final line will also be eight counts. Our brains are rabbits, flash, and show. Again, eight. So we could say it's one stanza, it's six lines, each line has eight uh, counts or eight beats within the line and it has a rhyme scheme of a a b b b a so already we've done a fairly strong analysis of the basic uh, parts of this poem are there any po any other poetic devices uh, evident so these are going to those level three or recycled devices so things like similes metaphors personification alliteration and symbolism so if we look through, we grind our brains. Are the students actually taking their brains out of their heads and grinding them up into powder? No, they're not. So this is a metaphor there. It, it, it means that they're comparing the hard thinking that they're doing to the process of grinding wheat or grinding grain or rice into a powder. So this is a metaphor. Um, it's not so easy, don't you know? We don't really see anything there. We listen, write, and think all day. No, it's pretty. that's pretty direct. It's telling us exactly what the students are doing. It's turning tips of hair taut gray. Okay, now remember, we had a new term in our last video about when words start with the same sound. And this is an example. This line is an example of that. It's got turning tips and taut. So we've got three sounds in the line that all start with T. So this line shows alliteration. Um, how many students will often ask how many words need to have the same sound for it to qualify as alliteration? As long as there's two words that start with the same consonant sound within that line, it's a line that demonstrates alliteration. 
Then we go to our next line, teacher, please listen well, we pray. So then there we go again. We've got we, well, and we. They both start with W, so that's another example of alliteration there. Our brains are rabbits, flash, and show. So again, what do we have here? We have some sort of a comparison. Does it use like or as? No. So we know it's not a simile. It's a direct comparison. It's just saying our brains are rabbits. Are the brains actually literally rabbits? No. It's a comparison between between the brain and a fast animal. So the students are saying, hey, check it out, teacher, we're, we're clever, we can think quickly, and therefore they use this metaphoric comparison between their brains and the rabbits. Good. So we've talked about structure, we've talked about uh, the rhyme scheme, the line count, we've talked about other more advanced elements, those level two elements, um, and then what do we think the major themes that we could discuss on this poem are? So obviously the major theme is education and a conversation going on between the students and their instructor. Okay, there you go. So from that very quick analysis, you could then write a uh, analytical paragraph about uh, this particular poem, which, hey, you might have to do that.